it, so I'm in the Tampa airport and waiting for my ride to arrive to take me to the uh, Amara Z in St. Petersburg. But I don't, I don't mind waiting. <laughs> it's been a long time since I took a plane anywhere, flew anywhere. Um, it was, it was fine. It was actually a direct flight, and so it went pretty quick. It's nice to be here. You can feel the humidity. Well, I've arrived in Tampa and I've made it to the Amara Z, which is the boat that I'm on. Now this is where I'm going to be living for a little bit before I go to an eco-village. But this is the boat theater. You can see the riggings up above me. And the rest of the boat. It's not as big as I thought it was from the pictures and videos. But it's pretty cool and the weather is perfect. Of course, it's probably like mid 70s and sunny. And I look really pasty compared to everybody else here. But probably won't be for much longer. This is what it looks like all around me. Now I'm exploring a little bit in the area around where the boat's docked. And as a botanist and horticulturalist, I think it's really amazing to be in a place where there's all these tropical and subtropical plants that have been planted. I'm right near this airfield, an airport over here, which is why there's so much noise. Some kind of tree up above me that doesn't have any leaves. There's like these palm things and instead of regular grass here they have this stuff that looks kind of like a crab grass. I've seen a few different flowers in bloom. Some kind of yellow flower over here. I don't know what that is. Oh yeah, it looks like a it's like a sink foil of some sort. Usually this is kind of a wet season in Florida, but they've only had like three thunderstorms or any kind of rainfall in the last few months I guess so it's really dry here and there's all these tropical plants that are I guess not getting enough water they're used to getting more water than they do so some of uh, some stuff is dying back it's nice to be wearing sandals again and this breeze is just perfect just perfect so this is downtown St. Pete's it's not a small town, it's a big city. There's big buildings everywhere. That one's not even very big, that one behind me, I think. Ah, oh, it's pretty big. It's so strange to be in a big city like this and have it be so warm and sunny. Palm trees everywhere. Looks like there's a lot of money here too. Some pretty fancy shops and restaurants in this place. That's the street there. One good thing about some cities is there's a lot of interesting things to see the culture. I like this mural. It's on the front of a looks like a glass shop. I don't know if that's where they're making glass artwork. Art glass store, yeah. There's another mural over there. SpongeBob SquarePants, I guess. I don't know if that's really it almost seems like a combination of Disney and SpongeBob. This one's even weirder. It has some touches of Disney in it. It's very strange. There's yet another mural. And then there's like all these shops over here. Pretty much behind every shop there's a mural painted on the back. Kind of like this iguana one over here. Each shop has a different mural on it. I'm hitting all the sites today. This is the Dali Museum, which I will probably go to eventually. I think one day a week during certain hours they have a, a deal and it's only like $10, $10 to get in. Normally it's 24 but I'm curious about what that museum has in it. Salvador Dali. And then this, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a theater over here. A happy theater. I don't know what they've got there. 
this little marina area or a docking place for sailboats. Lots of them. So this is St. Pete's behind me. It's definitely a big city. And uh, I'm having a little trouble finding some green places to hang out in, like natural areas. And there's not really anything natural. And even the parks are like this. They're mostly parking lot and palm trees and lawn. So I'm hoping to find some botanical gardens or maybe a park that has something natural in it. I got some footage on my phone, but I finally got the camera out and now I'm getting some better footage with this camera. And uh, I woke up a little bit earlier and came out here and right back behind me I saw a dolphin surfacing. Came up twice and I tried to get my phone on quickly, but it was out of power. I went out exploring in the area yesterday uh, just walked around the town and checked things out. Seems like there's a lot of stuff here, a lot of things happening. I'm looking forward to an event that's happening in early February called Local Topia. It's all about local foods, I think, and local, maybe local everything. And it is uh, very pleasant right now. It's probably in, it's probably like 65, maybe the low 60s. I don't know. We're supposed to get some cooler weather coming in, but yesterday it was really nice. It was probably in the mid to upper 70s and sunny all day long. In the next video, I'll give you a tour of the boat I'm living on. It's truly tiny living when you're on a boat because space is at a premium. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share and give a thumbs up to the video if you liked it. See you next time. Thank you.